everybody thank you for joining me today so today's video is going to be number 20 in our 25 days of christmas sketches i can't believe we're coming down to the end here but we're going to be using this operation right home sketch number 91 so pause here go ahead and cut up some of your scraps or um, if you have a collection cut up your pieces and come join me at the table so i've taken um uh, these three patterns using three different ones and I grabbed one of the sentiments from the back of my Kaiser Craft uh, paper pad and as you guys can tell I really enjoyed using this um, particular paper collection I love the minty green color it's almost blue I don't know it's it's one of those colors that it just spoke to me so it was probably my main focus for this holiday season but I decided to use uh, gray as my base for this one. And I'm just using um, my ATG tape and the art glitter glue to allow me some time to wiggle it around, move it around, make sure I have it nice and evenly spaced. And with these type of cards, I'm going to admit I have issues sometimes with evenly spacing or feeling like it it should look as nice and as simple as the sketch looks do you know what I mean like it's it's hard to explain but I think what messes me up is that I don't do a full quarter of an inch and I don't use my entire card front because I use a mat right so like a lot of times the cards are based off of four and a quarter by five and a half measurements and then I adjust depending on you know what I'm matting and stuff like that because if I mat and use a base paper the dimensions get a little they get a little off so a lot of times you could start with the middle one and then do your top and your bottom piece for me on this one to try and make it as even as possible I did my top and my bottom and then I'm going to place my center strip as evenly as possible in the middle okay and it has a little bit wider I guess of a space um, you could do a couple of different things to fix that you could always put like a peel off in the middle give it a little bit of added interest um, you could also mat the three pa um, the three pieces of paper because I want to say it's like four by one and a half I think it is um, so you could mat it you know what I mean um, what I would then do is try and keep my pattern paper like see I didn't mat I mat it and then I just did the, the pattern paper right on top so my sheets are exactly four inches because I made my mat piece four and an eighth. So I have an eighth of an inch on the two sides. So maybe if I'm going to mat them next time, I won't do a mat. I'll just mat each of the individual pieces and then attach them to the card front that way. That's an option too, which would create one, um, some thickness because you're going to be matting each individual piece and then you can do still do some of the stuff I was saying like using the peel offs or at the bottom I just use some Nuvo drops to add a little bit of something something um, you could add sequins to this you can add gems whatever you want to spruce it up you know what I mean but in just following the sketch as it is it's really simple and easy to use and another great sketch to use up your scraps with and it doesn't take any time at all right I mean I sped this up two times I believe so it took me all of eight minutes probably to record it because this is like half the time so thank you guys so much for joining me on this sketch little journey we're doing <laughs> make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button and links to everything will be down below and I'm still gonna link Jenny and Beatrice even though she wasn't able to get her videos up she's my bestie on YouTube and in life and I want to make sure you guys check out her channel too so I'm leaving all her stuff there as well as Miss Jenny so definitely check them out you guys thank you so much and I hope you have 
have a great day.